So, if then the, the question we ask is, <coughs> this ice amplifier actually have any critical role in autoimmune disease or our arthritis? If this amplifier is essential, maybe start sweet deletion, which is essential for the ice amplifier. Deletion of this study from non-immune cells should suppress the arthritis development in vivo. For this experiment, we utilize the type of collagen cretoranset. That means we wish to delete study in type of collagen poison cells. Then for this, we introduce the F759 gene into study flux from then plus with a type of collagen transient. I'm showing here such specific deletion of study in type of collagen positive non-immune cells significantly suppress the arthritis development in our mutant mind. So therefore it is likely that this ice amplifier at least in part play critical role in 759 arthritis. Then, if this is the case, in consistent with this idea, actually the IL-17 and IL-6 concentration was increased as age. So that is consistent with idea that I have their main player role. Furthermore, overexpression of IL-17A IL or IL-6 in our F759 months significantly enhance or accelerate the onset of arthritis. Again, these results are consistent with the idea that IL-6 amplifier play a crucial role in at least in part 759 arthritis. Then, what is the relationship between I-17 and I-6? They are working parallelically, or maybe the I-6 is downstream, or maybe the I-6 is upstream. Then, in order to answer this question, we overexpressed I-17A or I-6 in either I-6 knockout F759 miles, or I 17A knockout F759. Then I show it here. Even in the absence of I 17A overexpression I 6 in F759 successfully induced arthritis. However, in the absence of I 6 overexpression I 17A in F759 failed to induce our life. So this is an answer at least. That is, I6 may be the critical downstream part of I17. So in summary, arthritis is dependent on CD4 T also dependent on I17, but not on antigenic recognition by CD4 T In addition, IL-6 is a critical downstream target of IL-17 or IL-759 as well. IL-17 seems to be involved in F759 because this outside is dependent on IL-17. However, IL-617 is not required when IL-6 is over. So maybe that this IL-17 role of IL-17 in this outside is, is uh, because of its role in IL-6 amplifier. So, collectively, it is suggests that CD4 T cell may be a, just a source of IL-17 or other cytokine capable of inducing IL-6 amplifier. So, if this is the case, overexpression of IL-17 would induce F759 arthritis even in the absence of CD4 T cell. Uh, answer is yes. We overexpress IL-17A in F759-2 knockout mouse. By itself, no arthritis. However, overexpression IL-17A successfully induced arthritis in the absence of T-cell. So, 
Single cell T cell may be the source of I7T which triggers I6 amplifier. So, then another very important but very difficult question to be answered is is I6 amplifier play any role in conventional tissue anti specific TH17 radiated autoimmune disease? But in order to answer this, we employed experimental alarm encephalomyelitis, disease, an animal model of multiple sclerosis. For this experiment, we immunized the mouse MOG peptide, mm -hmm. then we obtained T cells from MOG peptide immunized by, then the TH17 was induced in the presence of bone marrow derived DC pulsed with MOG peptide in the presence of several cytokines. Thus, in, in, in vitro induced TH17 was transferred to the host cell. Actually, the MOG TH17 transfer induced the increase in serum IL-6. Furthermore, more importantly, this MOG TH17 transfer successfully induced EAE in wild-type host maps. And such induction was significantly suppressed if we utilize ice knockout. Furthermore, if we utilize MOGTH17 from IL, in IL-17 and knockout, that means that these T cells cannot produce IL-17A, but produce a little bit IL-17A. Anyway, in this case, this disease was of the of the induced. So all results suggest that MOGTH17A triggered as an ice amplifier may be involved in EAE. So it's very difficult for us to definitely answer this question. Anyway, if this is the case, again deletion of star three, which is I'd like to remind you Firstly, in non-immune cells or type 1 collagen positive cells is essential element for the IS amplifier. Such deletion of the should suppress MODTH17 induced EAE. This happened. As shown here, deletion of the in from type 1 collagen positive cell in vivo, significantly suppressed MOGTH17 induced TA. So, therefore, at the moment, it is reasonable, but definitely, uh, we cannot say definitely, but it is likely that IL6 amplifier plays a role, at least in part. In even tissues and specific T cell mediated autoimmune disease, such a kind of EAE. Mm -hmm. 